Now, as we uh, sit in my chateau, I have a little thing called Items of Interest, Primes and Propaganda, episode 53. Over a year. Do you we've really? Been there. Yeah, we have. And I, I got some shit for you today. I do too. <laughs> it's a lot. But before I go, how was your week? It was pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. I'm saving the world. You saving? I'm the saving world? lives. That's what you. Should I really be. am. I'm like a counselor. Mm -hmm. One erection too many. I remember when a breeze and a memory of the J.C. Penny catalog could get me my needy. You're needy. But nowadays, you just don't cut it no more. You're needy. <sighs> Is that what you call that? There's only bird magazines, dusty, stale. And their breasts just don't satisfy me like they used to. I'm getting old. I have to smack him every now and then, you know? Like, hey! That's, that's what you call him? You're needy? Is that what you call him? Look. Is that his... Don't you... Look, I got another one for <laughs> Is that your needy? Either I'm getting old or shit's really fucked up. Hmm. Cheeseburgers taste like shit and my inbred guppies remind me of the people in town. Yeah. It's pretty bad. They, and they wonder why I'm crazy. They're out of control. Because they're I just want to buy a roll of toilet paper. I don't yeah. want to know about what you did last Sunday. We don't want to know about it. We really don't want to know. I don't even know your name. <laughs> why are you talking to me? Get the fuck out of the line. I also want to add something from Mr. Oh. Um, we have a new segment. It was written on a Celebrex note. Pad, it was sent, and if you don't believe me, folks, it's right here. It's actually it's so Sure, like zooming around so you can make it. Yeah, yeah. This is legendary. So there you go. This okay. Is my word at a this gas is what station. I'm about to read to you. Yeah. Today. Give it to him. Okay. So that's it, that, can I tell him the new segment? It. This is Legends of Bo Diddley. Yes, this is um this man is legendary. Mm -hmm. Folks, he really um he made he made some no nos. He made some no-no mistakes, so here's what he says. To who it may concern, I, Mr. J.W. Saxon, am sorry if I wronged anyone in this area. I am truly apologize you. I'm sorry and wish all could forgive and love one another. I love and miss you all. God bless you all. J.W. Saxon. This J.W. Saxon. And J.W. Saxon, if you're out there, we want to award you with Bo Diddley Legend. We will buy you one six pack and a pack of cigarettes. Yes. And one lottery. Ticket. Yeah, come on down. No more than two dollars. Come on down. Come on down and he's, accept the prizes. He's legendary. Oh! He's been raising hell. Dude, he drove by me in a stolen Cadillac one day. I saw him and I there's no way in the window is a crack and he was just trying he just you he just appears. And but he apologizes. He but said he apologizes. <laughs> and no. then he does it again, but he apologizes. He apologizes is what he said. But he apologizes. He apologized. Not apologize. He apologized. He's saying this is just the way I am. <laughs> this is who that I am. Motherfucker. But, but the thing is, he is somewhat of a Yeah, but man. he said. But I know him. He's wild. He's just like an animal. He but, said, I wish yeah. all could forgive <laughs> and love one another. That motherfucker can do a busload of meth. That's what he said. That motherfucker just... I lived, love and he, miss you all. He puts meth in a salad. God bless you all. God J bless you, motherfucker. Yeah, J.W. But Sachs. the heart to fucking put a sign up like that in the convenience store for the town to read so everybody knows I'm going to disappear yeah. for a while, but I love you. And I guess he's Jim. <laughs> Is that Jim, folks? Can you tell him? Yeah, I know him, Is that man. Jim? Yeah, it's Jim. It's not Jizz. <laughs> it's not Jizz W. It's Jim. 
Yeah, he just wants everybody to love one another. No, and forgive. I know. Him. You know, yeah. you know, I know his son. You know how I know Oops. his fucking son. Mm -hmm. I had a math class with his son, and he was this fat kid, and he was a bully. Mm -hmm. And he sat beside me in the back, and he used to pick on me oh. until I broke his fucking oh, wrist. Because I got tired of it. Okay. I kicked him in. The, I, I kicked him in the wrist, and I just jumped this fucking kid. Cause that that's what happens, man. I'm a I'm a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. But I have a problem because I bottle shit up, and I, oh, I'm just I like, well, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna, but when I get full, most men do. Like you, when you push me too far, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fucking just punch you in the fucking face. Yeah. Because where I come from, that's how you learn a lesson. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but I think that's how it should be. Because I'll yeah. tell you, you need to leave me alone. You, but if I have to say it for a third time, I'm gonna put your fucking head through the fucking wall, and I'll do mm. time for it, just to see the look on your face. That's the kind of guy I am, and I'm getting older, and I can't really have that attitude because I got you and responsibilities. Right. <laughs> so I'm tiptoeing. Yeah. I'm tiptoeing. On eggshells. And when I start crying, I said I gotta go home. That's because I want to murder. Yeah. At least three people right now. Right. So I take my shit and I go See, home and I just home. close myself up. Yeah, but right. That, that, yeah. But when you get old, but when I was younger, I would have right. fucking cut your ass. You come home. I would have beat the fuck. But you get older, right. man. I'm. It's like it's it's weird because you, you can't do shit. You, just, you drink your beer. You have your ice cream, you go to bed with titty cakes, and that's and it. And South Carolina repairman exposed himself and appropriately touched a child while on the job. His name is Joshua Morris, working on the AC unit, decides to go into a little girl's room and show his cock. Yeah. That's my local headlines. These are the people I have to live with. Wow. This is the shit I deal with. Uh, and it makes me sick. Nasty. What the Backwater fuck? stupid shit. God. That is scary. What do you got? That's really Let's scary. Let's bring it to a happy note. I don't know if this is going to be a very happy <laughs> note if I can find it. Oh god. Oh man, what a wild show, man. The song got okay, me jacked up. So, I was rocking and rolling. I lost Yeah, myself. I did too. I really did. It was fun. I have a few things here, unless you want me to get to the first game. No, 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 no. go through your stuff. I, need, I, I did mine. This is, <laughs> this is to take you through my internal dialogue, which is funny. This stuff is what makes jokes. This is what makes crazy posts online. This is what makes people unfriend me. <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, I, I can't wait, man. So here's what it says. Well, aren't you just another shade of white privileged? What do they call that? Off-white? <laughs> so there you go. You know, people who you know are mixed, but they want to come off domineering? Like they know a thing? Like they're... Yeah. No, you don't know shit. <laughs> you don't know shit. But they claim, you know, they're white. And... Yeah, some black people are come out white. Yeah, I know. But that's the thing. You can have two black people and they have a white baby. They just give birth to a white baby or vice versa. You can have two white people who give birth to a black baby. And it doesn't mean anybody was messing around. But it just happens. But isn't it safe to say, folks, we're all mixed? Hey. We're all mixed. Old news. Yeah. Old news. It is, but you you want to get... You want to hear about... Yeah, look you're a fruit fly. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're, you're a fruit fly. And you fell into a plate of spaghetti. What are your final thoughts and words before you get eaten? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you're in the spaghetti. You're in it right now. You're dying. Your legs are stuck <laughs> to the sauce. <laughs> You're gonna get eaten. <laughs> I always wanted a piece of the meatball. You always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, that's why I'm down there because I yeah. wanted the meatball, but, yeah. it, but you couldn't get because you get stuck. But I finally flew too close, and when I got stuck inside you the flew meatball, too close. I could finally get a nibble, and it's just like. They say, always, but at least I ate the meatball. Because I wanted a piece of the meatball, but there's a thing about the meatball. Yeah. You can't get it because you get stuck in the sauce. Yeah. He, but I couldn't take it no you more. You got stuck. <laughs> so I ate the meatball. Yeah. And I died. 
eaten a mouthful of meatball. But maybe and that was... I went to heaven. Yeah. And I came back as a news reporter. It was a happy, happy moment, you know. Came back as a news reporter. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Yeah. Like you... I want a haircut. Yeah. But I don't want another reason to hate myself. Haircuts always make me look like a dick for at least a couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, people... <laughs> generally, people have a problem with you when you, when you first get a haircut. Yeah. And then after a few days, they're like, oh, that's just David. That's just David. That's what he does. That's I, what he looks like. I, 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 I don't hate people. And I, was, I, I agree with Charles and Kelsey. I just like it when they're not, not around. around. Yeah, not around. But I work with it. That is my profession. Right. <laughs> or as I said... I can sell you siding to a house. I can sell you toilets. I can sell you lawnmowers. I can sell yeah. you paint. I can sell you blinds and storage units. And cages for oh. little dogs. <laughs> Flowers and hang on trees. But what I wanna know is can I sell my soul to you all over again and again and again and again? I hate you. It's really hot. I don't know. So. I'm, I'm it's a new song by we're, David Graham. We're, we're musical. It's a new, yeah, it is. We do musicals. It's a new now. song. It's, it's I'm very called, worried about how this is going to turn out. <laughs> <laughs> what else it's got? called Seconds Before I Fell Into the Meatball. It's a new song oh, by... Man, really? That's a nice yeah. title, dude. I <laughs> yeah. like that. That's not that's bad. That's it, yeah. We're gonna I think it this. nicely sums it up. The whole yeah, experience. That's not bad, man. Yeah, I mean, do you want me to start with the first game, maybe? Oh, dude, I love the game. I love the fucking so game. So this one should, uh, sorry, Sanford, it should be fun. Can I, can I sponsor, um, this Oh, sure. Okay. This is, um, beef jerky, um, Becky's, um, black market beef jerky, but let me tell you something. If you get in contact with me, Next time I get a hold of some, I will buy a bunch of it and send it to you. But this is the best fucking beef jerky I've ever had in my life. Homemade. Nice. And it's black market. Nobody knows about it. It's a secret. But I can get the hookup. Oh, my God. We got zesty barbecue and teriyaki. Nice. All right. And I'll put some bags for free. That's hot. Yeah, you gotta pay for it because support, support her effort. Yeah, all the proceeds go the proceeds to Becky. Mm. Thank you, I'm Becky. I'm telling you, shit's fuck that satisfied shit. You ain't never tasted nothing like this. Yeah, she's getting this all woman, the money. This woman needs to be known. She's getting all the money. All right. All right. So there we go. We do some sponsors. Remember when you sponsored the Chow? Remember oh. the Chow? Which one? Remember the chow. It comes in a jar. Yeah. We put it on like hot dogs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, the chow. It's good. Yeah. Do you even remember what the brand is called? Do you even remember? <laughs> I, I, I know it's chow. What's it called? Baby Jesus's <laughs> underwear? Like, what's it? Baby Jesus's diaper? I don't remember the is name it of called... it. It's called Chow Chow. Right. <laughs> but to be honest with you... Looks like something he shit out. But it's good. The kind I get, though, yeah. isn't as good as the kind I know, where you really buy Chow Chow from somebody that... Some Came out of their that underwear. That actually makes the shit I'm just from kidding. scratch. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better, but it, it's all right. Yeah, it's good. But Chow Chow is fucking Let's good. get... Let's get to the game here. We're going right, to start the first one. <laughs> you know food that looks like diarrhea, but it's actually really good? <laughs> That's kind of like chow. It looks bad, but yeah, it it's good. It looks like vomit. It looks like it came out of my diaper. It's just bad. <laughs> I don't know. It does. I All right. Like you gotta get, that's why you put a bun on it, so you can't see it when you eat it. I don't wear a diaper yet, but you know when you get but, old... Uh, this is what it's going to be. When you get old, I might... I'm going to start my own company. When we're all old, folks. Okay. Pick a drink, take a trip is the title of this game. 
you have to pick a drink. So you have to pick a number between one through four. Wine. Wine. You went with wine. It says you're hoping to calm your nerves and get away from it all. So you just want to unwind. That's it. Do you want to know which you could have picked instead? Absolutely. You could have <laughs> picked two, which is rum. And it says if you picked rum, you got a wild look in your eye, but you were told to behave. Mm -hmm. And if you picked three, you picked whiskey. You're ready to stay up for most of the night and play Ooh, poker. That's why I don't drink whiskey no more. You're going to play poker. And then four. If you picked four, you picked tequila. You threatened your brother just before you started drinking, so this might not be a good that, time. That all sounds like some past. <laughs> One of you has to leave, but you both can't stay. Especially not in the summer house. Not in the summer house. <laughs> not in the summer house. You take your ass out to the garage. <laughs> right. And hook up the kerosene heater and hope for the best. <laughs> That's what we was told. But and you we picked did it. wine. You know, it was some of the best times of our lives. Yeah, but you picked wine. And it was cold as fuck, but we had a poker table and weed. So here we go. <laughs> where you go. So here's where this goes. You picked one, which is wine. So if you picked one, you took a bottle of wine in a cheese plate from the coffee table, and you're headed outside. Now your family's pissed because you took all the cheese, they're playing charades, and you don't give a fuck. So you just got very selfish. You took the cheese, took the wine, and walked out. You're going to regret that for the rest of your life. <laughs> You're mad. No, no, I still have regrets. I've done, I'm like, and you still look back, man, I was an asshole. Yep. Not the cheese and the wine and they having charades. Now, <laughs> if you, asshole. if you, you want to know what would have happened if you had picked the other drinks, what, how this would have turned out? Yeah. So if you had went with two and you picked rum, you headed down to the lighthouse to start a bonfire because you were told not to. And you just don't take orders. So that was... <laughs> and if you had picked three and went with whiskey, this game of poker would be a lot more fun if your cousin didn't exist. He will not shut the fuck up. He's antagonizing you, but what makes it worse is he's also bringing up your ex-girlfriend. And that's just not gonna fly. This is when you consider burning the summer house to the ground. <laughs> you want to burn down the summer house. <laughs> and if, if you had went with four and you went with the tequila, within one hour, you've already planted your fist through the wall, you busted a window in the living room, and you're about to have the cops called on you. It didn't go well. Remember you threatened your brother before you started drinking, now it just escalated. Out of control! Alright! Now, you have to pick a number again. This part is, what happens? How does the night turn out? So you have to pick a number between one through four. Alright, so let's go to the next page. Picked three. You passed out in the bathtub, still wearing one pant leg, Everybody left, and the summer house now smells thickly of weed. <laughs> There's one ace on the bathroom floor and a three of spade for no reason. <laughs> it's just on the floor. It's like the last cards you had. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know how your night would have turned out if you would with <laughs> the other drinks? Okay. So if you had went with the... <laughs> Alright, let's see. If you had went... If you had picked two, you're the last person to go to bed because you thought the party would last all night. It's now four in the morning, and you're munching on crackers and talking to a fish. What a bunch of pussies. 
Everybody passed out but you. That's if you had picked two. Okay. So. If you had picked one, while you were taking the trash out, you encountered a skunk who incidentally chased you away from the house. No one knows where you are now, and they might have to call a search party. <laughs> you just vanished. You're gone. Dude, I think I got the best choice. I think you did, That's too. A choice. I, I don't want a party. And then you got, if you had picked four. <laughs> Mister, if you had picked four. It's not every day you crash your brother's car into the side of a lighthouse. But maybe the bushes will hide it for now, until you can come up with a story. You didn't do that. You also didn't make out with his girlfriend, either. You didn't do that, either, Sir. Hell no! You're doing, mean, you were doing some bad stuff. Of my life. And, and that's, that's the end. That's the end of that and thing. And a black lady asked me how old I was. I replied, almost 40. I turned 38 in June. She told me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> White people don't age that well. No. I love that. They really Who the don't. fuck knows? They really don't. And I'm looking at myself in that little mirror <laughs> over there, and I gotta say, I look pretty good. Man, but I'm you look like, dynamite. You look dynamite. What else we got over here? You got something but, else? You know, like I, I got said. Some shit. But one day I might look like the Crypt Keeper. I don't know. Why do they sentence prisoners to 300 years in prison? Interesting. Now, Very this is something we talked about earlier that I was just thinking right. about in a daydream. Mm -hmm. Why would you sentence someone to 300 years? Yeah, we discussed that. They because will... the United States government is when they raped and pillaged the land, they took, they took the Native Americans, uh... The judicial system. Yeah, the judicial system yeah. came from the Native Americans. And the reason why they'll sentence you to 300 years is because they're punishing you, so in the next life you yes. have to suffer. Yes, that's right. Very so that interesting. So a paganistic state. However, they shove in Jesus down your throat. Right. But it is a paganistic idea that they yeah. stole from Native Americans because and they using that in a way that's not necessarily good. Right. So and and you know, to me that makes sense because if you serve three hundred years Yeah, that means then you when you die you come back and you still you have, have to You have to pay for that. You still, you still have, have to pay. To serve. Right. But that comes from an yeah. old belief. Right. And you know, just because you 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 have to come back and we come again back and again strong, and again, baby. that doesn't mean that you. It doesn't you gotta mean, catch me first, right? But it doesn't mean be a bastard for three hundred years. It means you need to atone. You need to make amends. You need. When I get back here, right? I'm gonna run and hide. So that's, that's what the fuck. That's I'm what gonna, you're gonna <laughs> run and hide. I'm gonna get you. You're gonna get an island that you're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna get on. Yeah, I'm running. That's interesting, though. Um, but isn't that interesting? I yes. never thought about it. Today I was just daydreaming and I was saying, that's where it comes from. Because they, they got the... All where, government. Where the government is today, it came from Native American yes, culture. Yes, that's right. And they right. structured You have it. a House of Representatives yeah. and you have... And they that, gather. Yeah, it's all... Right. They, they that's took it. it. from the Native Americans and that's how they use it today. That's right. But they're fucking wicked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they got their own weird dogma. But um, <laughs> that doesn't matter, because I got another one for you. Outside in a bubble, I don't even know my face. With every night, we slow dance, finding out maybe we were born. We're never born. Right. Gosh. Have you ever thought that maybe... Because there, there's so many ideas I have about this. Here's one of them. Have you ever thought that maybe you're living somebody else's dream? That's weird. Have you ever thought that you are somebody else's dream? Man, I don't know. I feel That's like weird. I've been there for a while. I'm pretty sure no. Right. No, no, I've been here for a while. I feel like I've been here forever. I don't believe I've I been know. Now, I've pretty much been yeah, but I've, would it, I've been here for a while. I'm not nobody's dream. 
What? Yeah, but you know the nature of dreams is pretty... pretty wild and boundless, so... What if in all the hundreds of years you could have lived on this planet, oh, man. you're Jesus. going through different phases of life? Hey, you never know. If, if anything, I'm going to tell you, up to where I can measure it now, I've really enjoyed my life. So what When I sit down and take a deep breath, I love it. With all the things I've done and all the things I've seen, I wouldn't take it back for anything. Me I think no, no. I'm really proud of what I've done and I'm proud of where I'm going. Me too. It just, it's hard, but it's not supposed to be easy. Right. But no, I'm really, really happy with I am too. my accomplishments. Yes. No matter what anybody thinks. Right. I'm really happy. And, 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 and I agree with you, and I'm of the same mindset. I said that no matter what anyone says to me, I know where my heart is. That's what's most important. That's something my mother actually instilled in me, is the idea of what you have in your heart that determines everything. It does. It determines where you're going to go and who you become. Yeah. Now I have this one thing. This is where I was laughing to myself okay. when I wrote this. You remember when I was laughing yep. when I wrote it? Yep. Alright, here's your surprise. Confused eyes sparkle the same as when you first get kicked in the nuts. I believed it was my first bike ride that summer when my father told me he was gay. <laughs> oh my god. Did you really, are you really going to go there with me right now? Are you really going to go there? You got to repeat that again. For me and the Dude, folks. I laughed so hard when I read this. I said, Confused eyes sparkle. The same as when you first get kicked in the nuts. I believe it was my first bike ride that summer when my father told me he was gay. Yeah, that's about what it feels like when some when your parent would confess something like that. But you see it's how like I getting it right. into a yeah. bike ride? Right? But yeah. dude, that is an intelligent fucking joke. Yes, it is. That made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Tell me that's It not hits good. you the same way. It <laughs> hit you, right? Because so it hits you hard. the same way. When I wrote it, I was over here right. dying laughing. I, I was like, don't look that's at it. That's the truth. I loved it. <laughs> it gets because it hit you the same way. When you found out. Is that not right. funny as fuck? I love, <laughs> and I actually see it. Oddly, I see it happen. Like I see your face, the facial expression you had when you found out. That's fucked up. That is really bad. Isn't that scary? One day last week, this gas station with the dope fiend that likes to talk. I stop every day. This guy wanted me to drop something off to his house. On my way home, I have to pay my... I have to change my place. But I never do it. It happens every day. He tells me uh, about his life, and we need to meet each other. And I, I don't want to be mean or anything, but... I would not be coming over, you know? <laughs> but I feel like this guy needs me. Mm -hmm. If I stopped coming every day, I feel like he would be missing something. Mm -hmm. So I take the abuse. Because for some reason, people like to talk to him. Right. So um, I, I, I take it, but it's like I have so many people that just unleash their inner. But if I stop coming there, it would break his heart. And I can't do that. Right. I can never do that. I'm not that kind of person. No, me neither. But no. god damn it, man. Right. <laughs> right. Some days when you've had a bad day, it's like I'm shaking like this. Yeah. yeah. But this guy, you know, people, people, you gotta understand. You don't know people until you live in their shoes. Right. So I don't judge nothing. Me neither. No. Um... You know, it, it, it's, I know I probably get laughed at for this, but I do generally approach people with a tender eye, almost like a mother, yeah. because I see them as, you know, what if that was me, or what if that was my child, or what if that yeah. was, 
always hear them out. Yes. That could be me one day. You yes. never know, man. Life is right. Tricky. And man. I want to say that when you see, when you encounter all of these problems and challenges and you meet all these different people and you see all these different faces, there's something beautiful about that. Even if you're having an awful day, you you just need to take the time to reflect later it's, and look back on that it's, what, and what it is, process it. The energy you put right. out really has a lot to do with it. If yes, it does. Right. And you're angry. You're right. putting out angry energy. Yeah. You're going to get more. I mean, right. I, I just try to, you know, yeah. I, I like everybody's on their own. Like, I, I try not to mind nobody's business. Right. But I try to stay positive. That's yeah. my thing I've been doing lately. Positivity. And if I don't yeah. have anything nice to say, I just won't say nothing Just at don't all. say anything. No, no, no. And I just, because I just walk away. Because saying something you know? could be a mistake. I just don't. It, right. Anytime you put something out there like that, it just it vibrates. Because anytime so, you throw a stone in a water pool, right. it creates ripples. That's right. Repercussions. And it's funny you say this, it's funny we're talking about this, because I think it sums up the next game. Do you want to play the next game? We got two games tonight. So, Suck is, it to me, baby. This is called Train Ride. So, you find yourself in a train headed east. Who do you sit next to? So you have to pick a number between one through four to find out who you sit next to. I'm going to go with two. Oh, man, okay. An old lady. She seems rather shy and withdrawn at first, but Grandma Silence has a wicked sense of humor once she gets to talking. So you picked the old lady. Okay. Do you want to know who else you could have picked? If you went with one, a child. You sit beside a child and his mother. That is, once the boy has picked up all of his toys from the seat and the floor. So you could have sat next to them. And three, you could have sat next to a young man. Wearing glasses and a hat, he eyes you suspiciously, but he's really just hiding booze up his sleeve. He seems to be on the run or something, but who the fuck knows yet? We don't know. And four. You could have sat next to a stoic woman. She's a young girl, actually. She listlessly stares out the window and doesn't even look over at you once you take your seat beside her. Who knows what her problem is? So, but you sat next to the old lady. Yeah, man. She's got, I, I dig that, man. They got yeah. stories to tell, She's man. They entertain us. Man, me. I love me some old ladies. They'll tell you all kind man. of wild shit from back yep. in the day. So, and, you know, I, I like it, man. So what happens next? You sat next to the old lady? The old lady happens to be a delight on this trip. The more you two talked, the more you reminded her of her late husband. It took her less than two seconds to figure out everybody on this train car. She is sly and clever for her old age, and has a dirty mouth, which makes you mm. laugh nonstop. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're just cutting up with Grandma. Absolutely. That's not bad. Absolutely. That's not bad. my style. No. I do it all day long. I, still, <laughs> I, I love talking to old I love it. Ladies. I know. I they will it. tell you everything you need to know. Now, if you went with one and you sat next to the child and his mother, the child begins playing very loudly. You have a headache, which intensifies as time goes by. But where this kid crossed the line is when he started hitting you with his toy truck. His mother is almost too sweet. She tries to settle him down, but the kid makes it blatantly clear he's not listening to mama. You don't know which pisses you off more, the unruly kid or his kind mother being disrespected. You're oddly attracted to her. You're kind of attracted to mama. So, <laughs> that's oh, it. Yeah. Now, Badass. if you sat next to... Mm -hmm. If you sat next to the shady looking guy, 
30 minutes into the train ride, you find out this man is on the run. He barely talks to you the entire time, but he doesn't bother you either. The only thing he tells you is if he can make it off this train in the next three hours, he's home free. He's running from debt collectors, and if he can't pay up, the price will be his blood. Cheapskate. Yep. <laughs> and if you... <laughs> Cheapskate, right. man. Man, yep. if you can't pay your shit, yep. I'd buy it. He's, yeah, he's... Because no, no. us good, honest taxpayers have to pick up your slack. That's right. So Stop being an asshole. Yep. So Work if, hard. If you sat next to the young lady, you decide to strike up a conversation with her, and you ask her where she's going. With complete and total apathy, she informs you, She's headed to a new home out of state so that she can attend private school there. She's not enthused about it whatsoever. And one hour later, she nearly suffers a nervous breakdown. Somehow, you had to be the one she confided in. So she tells you she's pregnant. She thinks she's pregnant. What a bitch this trip has turned into. Now, you've become a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> That's bad. That's pretty bad. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now. <laughs> okay. Now. You want me to move on? <laughs> All right. So, you sat next to Grandma. Thankfully, right? <laughs> Thankfully, you sat next to Thank Grandma. Thank God. Now, I dodged a bullet on that train. Now, here's what happens. Unless Grandma gets pregnant. No, no, no. Really <laughs> no, no. Grandma, okay. <laughs> she happens. <laughs> okay. Grandma, <laughs> Listen. <laughs> 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 okay. No, 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 no. Let's just put it in the past, baby. So... Grandma, let's let's move on. She happens to be traveling to visit family. She's going to see her daughter and grandchildren, and she would love it if you join them for dinner. Will you stop for dinner on the way? And you what are they you having? have to pick a number between one or two. One or two. Two. You maintain your course so you don't stop to have dinner. Here's what happens. Mm -hmm. If you stopped for dinner, we'll go through both of them. If you stopped for dinner, the old lady pays for your travel expenses so you can get exactly where you need to go. She didn't have to do this, but she insists on it. You end up having extra money for later down the road, but you didn't pick that. You decided to keep your course. And if you maintain course, you end up getting mugged once you get off the train. Damn. But, you you know what I got to say to that? Sure. I'd rather really take that journey. Yeah. Because that's how I build stories. Right. And that's how you travel. Yeah. You got I, mugged. It's not about the money. No. It's about the road you take. Right. And sometimes you gotta get... I mean... All right. The harder road is the best road traveled. Okay. I agree. And if you had... So you want to know the other results? If yeah. you had picked the other people that, to sit next to? Let's so, if you sat next to the boy and his mother, mm -hmm. it is so hard not to hit that kid in the face. You consider getting up and looking for another seat. Do you stay or do you go? Pick one or two. One. You stay. You yeah. don't get up. And I stay so, psychotically. And yeah. Like this. So if you stay, you and I and I just go into a seizure where I just freeze like this. If you stay, you end up striking the kid after all, and his mother is screaming terrified. You have to leave the train car now. You have to leave. God damn. Now, if you decided to get up and find another seat, so if you decide to go. 
The mother stops you out of pity and pleads that you sit back down. This train is packed and there's no more good seats available. You like mom, but that kid is the devil. You sit back down and bear through the torture. You discover she's a single mother and that explains the unruly son and his fascination with you. He's fascinated with you because he don't have a dad. So he's like, who's this? Now, if you, <laughs> if you had, now, if you had went with the shady guy and you sat next to him, yeah. your buddy, mm -hmm. who's on the run, gets up and leaves the train car. At some point, you are accosted by a stranger who asks you if you've seen a man of your buddy's description. Do you lie or tell the truth? I lie. Pick, no, pick a number, one or two. Two. You tell the truth. Uh. You tell him you did see him. <laughs> now, if you lie, if you lied, the stranger leaves and your buddy returns about 15 minutes later. He's about to get off the train anyway. You tell him about your encounter so he has a heads up. But if you tell the truth, which you did, the stranger leaves and your buddy comes back again 15 minutes later. He takes a seat next to you, but he's wiping his hands for some reason. He's wiping his hands for some reason. And you glance over at him as he pulls his jacket sleeve down to cover a blood-soaked shirt cuff. That's bad. <laughs> that is terrible. That's bad. <coughs> now, last one before we end the game. If you sat next to the girl who thinks she's pregnant, this young lady asks you if she should go ahead with an abortion or keep the baby if she's pregnant. Do you tell her to abort or keep the baby? Pick a number one or two. One. If you had picked one, you chose to abort. You chose yeah. to suggest Good an abortion. Choice. So we if, don't need well, in the world. here we go. If you suggest an abortion, she confesses to you that she could never do such a thing. The thought of it depresses her so greatly. This was not a good suggestion because now she well, might I change my name and run away. She might be suicidal out of intense guilt. Oh, I can't now, if you hit, if you. If you had picked two, Good and, you, luck. And, if, <laughs> if you had picked two and you told her to keep the baby, if you suggest she keep the baby, she considers giving up private school, but it's better to tell her parents the truth well, first. I would tell her maybe she put more backbone into it. Luckily, she's not pregnant. Yeah, but now I don't love you anymore because I know what kind of bitch you are. But convincing huh. her to keep the baby was the best choice because at least but, she's not thinking about suicide. But I don't like a weakness. Okay. A woman needs to be stronger. Women I agree. Women are very strong. Yes, they and are. And I don't like it when women seem weak because women yes. are some of the... I mean, they're strong. Yes, they are. Oh, that shit don't fly. But that's that. You hung out. Oh, I'm uh, 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 you hung yeah, out, Grandmama. I'll be over here drinking a beer on <laughs> a tree, playing a guitar badly, and yeah. talking to a fucking flower. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm happy with that. That's that. You hung out with Grandmama. Yeah. You know, you simple pet. Simple things. It was good. Simple. Everybody needs to come right? back to when things were simple. Yeah. I got something. Okay. Something about foodborne diseases and foods like mushrooms and plus other from China. Something about space link shooting satellites into space. And one day we will never have to leave the house. Ray John. When the inkwell runs dry, I think of you inside my mind. I reach out to you, little Johnny had a dream. But old Major Lee just couldn't understand, little Johnny get a grip. 